So here we have the bracer. What we're trying to do now is make sure that we have our metal components laid out in a fashion that allows us to have enough room to put our design in. Now on the pauldron, we had this lovely um, crane design with symmetry to it. And for the bracer, I want to use that same design, but I only want one crane. So I've cut out the master pattern just so I can roughly figure out where everything's gonna fit. And I just wanna make sure if I'm going to put my crane design here, that I have enough room to fit that in the perimeter, okay? So I'm making sure that my metal components are lined up and that no point of the footprint of the metal components interferes with the crane. And so now what we have to do is we have to mark where the holes go for the metal components and then draw their outline in addition to making sure that our crane still fits in the pattern. So I have my paper pattern that I'm gonna do the stippling with later, but right now we just need to transfer where our holes are. And so I'm just using a clicker pen. I like the clicker pen because it makes cute little rings. And so you know generally the circular shape that you're gonna be using and just pierce straight through the paper. It should show up just fine without any issue. And if not, you can always come back and poke out more marks that you can see. And so before we remove um, our border, usually what I like to do is take our Sharpie and just gently make a perimeter. Now, the leather is still wet, but not so wet that it's damaging the paper. And that's really important to know because if you get your leather too wet and you put, you know, some paper on, uh, <laughs> if it's freshly printed, your ink's going to go everywhere and we want to avoid that. So right now I'm just taking the time to mark the perimeters of my metal stripping so I don't spend extra time putting detail work in where I'm just going to put a metal plate and cover everything that I've done. And so... It's really important when you're when you're doing this to take the time and say okay before I get too ambitious um, before I do all this detailing work is it even going to show up underneath my metal plating so I've used the sharpie to sort of trace out that perimeter and I've used you know just a clicker pen to push down you can do this with anything like a, a fork tine or a chopstick or a ballpoint pen, preferably one that's already dead so it doesn't put out the ink. But that's a really nice way to get a soft indicator for where your holes are gonna be. So now we're gonna remove our template and you can see that we have, I'll bring this up to the camera. You can see that we have our hole indications here and we've got a light perimeter border which can be retraced. And then on the other side, again, a hole indication here and here and then a soft perimeter. So once you have that laid down, you can take your paper template and set it to the side. You can take your sponge and just very lightly wet the areas where you want to re-wet that perimeter. Um, that's going to allow you to make the emboss a little more dramatic, which is just an easier way for you to see what you're trying to accomplish when you're doing your detail work or whether you're painting, you know what areas you don't have to get too hung up over, right? So there's my line. And we'll take the other piece. And again, we're going to do that same emboss. Okay. So now we know where our lines are going to be relative to our holes. So you can see we've got a line here with our hole there. And again, our line here with our holes here and here. So once you have that done, you're ready to transfer your stippling, and that will be a separate video.